What's up, everyone? How's everyone doing? Wow, we have breaking and shocking news um, in the baseball world. Joe Madden has been fired as the manager of the Los Angeles Angels. It's a WTF move, although this comes after the Angels have extended their losing streak to 12 games. Yes, the Angels are currently on a 12-game losing streak. They got off to a great start early in the season, and they took a turn for the worse. But, you know, if someone wants to fire themselves, they can kindly do that, and that would be the owner, Artie Moreno. Look, Artie Moreno has sabotaged this team, okay? He is the reason why this team is where it is today. Why this team has not been able to contend for a World Series title, it's because of Artie Moreno and how he runs his business. I mean, he's a he's done a poor job as the owner, you know, and if I'm an Angels fan, I'm doing everything to urge this man to finally sell the team, you know. Look, Angels fans have been through the torture for long enough. They have dealt with this this man for long enough. They have seen mediocrity long enough. I mean, look, this team has fallen in the pit of mediocrity and has not found a way to climb out of that pit. Um, I mean, it's it's ugly in Anaheim right now. I mean, it's some gloomy days. That's a figure. That's a that's a figure of speech, by the way, because it's been hot as hell here in Southern California, and it's been sunny every day. But there's a cloud that's hovering over Angel Stadium, specifically because this team has been miserable. This team has been hot trash. They've been garbage. And I'm not going to sit here and point the finger directly at Joe Madden because that wouldn't be fair. That would be very unfair to do such a thing. Look, you can't blame all of this on Joe Madden. Joe Madden is one of the best managers in baseball. We all seen what he did with the Cubs, right? He helped that team win a World Series. You know, he took a, a, a low-budget, small-market, Tampa Bay Rays team to the World Series. Yes, they fell short against the Phillies that year, but he still, you know, he still um, deserves a lot of credit for that, for, for that happening. So to see him get fired... Um, it's shocking, you know, because again, you know, we always hear this cliche, right? That the manager can't play for you. Look, the Angels don't have any quality arms. They don't have a solid starting rotation. They definitely don't have a reliable bullpen. You know, those arms out of their bullpen has been shake, have been shaky and erratic. So, I mean, what the hell do you expect from this Angels team? This Angels team is not built to win anything. I don't know what more Artie Moreno can expect from a manager that really doesn't have much to work with. And, you know, whatever's going on with this team, it, it has shown. I mean, the evidence is there that something is obviously not working for this Angels team as, as to why they lost these many games. I mean, this is this is very alarming if you're an Angels fan. It's very discouraging for a team that has probably two of the best position players in baseball. Three of the best position players in baseball. Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, Anthony Rendon. You know, this team has undeniable talent in the hitting department. Where they lack is pitching. That's where their weakness is at. That's their glaring weakness. You can't win too many baseball games with sorry-ass pitching. You're just not going to do that. So, unfortunately, Joe Madden is the fall guy in all of this. He takes the blame for all of this. He loses his job behind this nonsense because Artie Moreno has set him up to fail. Artie Moreno is too cheap. And when, he, and when he's not shy to spend on players... He spends on the wrong players. I mean, I talked about this yesterday. You know, you paid Josh Hamilton a boatload of money, and then you handed Albert Pujols a big bag of money. But it didn't work out for you. 
You know, and this team has failed miserably to build around Mike Trout. It's really sad to see a team with two of the best players on the planet in Mike Trout and Shohei Otani and see that this team cannot build around them. They have not fostered an environment conducive for winning baseball games. They just haven't. You know, and it's pitiful. It's pitiful. Angel fans need to let their wallets do the talking and boycott this team. Stop going to the games. Firing Joe Madden is not going to solve their problems. I'm sorry. It's not going to fix this team's offensive woes. It's certainly not going to help an ailing and a struggling bullpen. It's not. This is not this is not going to do much but set the team back. Now they have to hire a new manager. Who who are they going to hire? Is the question moving forward. You know, but this is all Artie Moreno's doing. You know, like I said the Angels have failed to build around Mike Trout, you know, um and it's obvious that Artie Moreno cannot run a major market team. It's obvious. We're seeing it more and more. And I can also I can also question his business acumen. Not only that, but I can also say he doesn't have the the burning desire to win. It doesn't seem that way. Now when you look when you go when you look on the other side of town, you see the Dodgers are not shy to spend big bucks on players. We've seen it year after year. You know, they they always are searching on the market for a player or different ways to get more creative and to, you know, um, retool to improve their roster. The Angels, on the other hand, are content with what they have. They rely too much on their form system. They pay those guys instead of going out to get a big name free agent or instead of, you know, addressing their needs in the bullpen, which is something they haven't done, um, for a very long time, you know, for a very long time as well, Artie Moreno showed that he was too content with his manager, Mike Sosa. And that's no disrespect to Mike Sosa. Mike Sosa held it down for a very long time. You know, he should have been out of a job much sooner, but Artie Moreno was obviously okay with him in the position. It was contentment. So he was able to hold on to his job. They never really, you know, um, had the desire to go out and get a new manager to finally replace Mike Sosha until, you know, the losing seasons kept happening. I, I Then I guess Artie Moreno got tired and he suddenly wanted change. You know, he had demanded change. You know, you had two general managers in the past. You had Tony Regans. You had Jerry... Uh, uh, the Poto, you know, uh, they really never gotten a chance to hire their own managers because again, Artie Moreno was a firm believer in Mike Sosha, you know, um, and then Billy Epler, he got fired, you know, so you could keep firing managers and general managers and it, and it's obvious that this is more of a front office issue than anything. It's obvious because you fired too many people in your front office and you still haven't gotten better. You know, you still haven't made that transformation. You still haven't grown as a team. You still have not uh, assembled, you know, a competitive roster around Mike Trout or Shohei Otani. I will tell you this, though. The first chance that Shohei Otani gets to leave, Anaheim, he's out. He's out the door. You can kiss him goodbye. There's no way he's going to come back, you know. And, I mean, this is this is, this is is horrible. This team is horrible. There is something missing, you know. There is something missing, and you spent big bucks on guys like Mike Trout. You invested your future on guys like Mike Trout and Anthony Rendon, you know. And last night, Mike Trout just ended what was a career worse for him. You know, he wasn't able to string together any hits every time he would come up to the plate. You know, he was 0 for 26. 
he finally, you know, came out of the hitting streak yesterday. You know, he finally came out of his slump. You know, and Shohei Otani, I mean, he's growing frustrated with this organization. You know, and like I said, once he gets that opportunity to test uh, free agent Waters, he's out the door. He's gone. Because this team has done him a disservice. They have done Mike Trout a disservice. And they have not showed that they that they tremendously are serious about winning. They haven't showed that. So firing Joe Madden is not gonna is is not going to you know solve the prob- problem. It might put a band-aid over the wound for a little bit. You know, it might be a way to uh you know relieve the the pain and you know relieve the sting a little bit, but I mean it's not I mean, firing Joe Madden is not just going to magically, you know, make them a contending team. You know, they're going to have to really bring in the right pieces to fit around Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. And don't you want to keep those two guys happy? I think no matter what, though, Mike Trout is going to finish his career as an angel. I mean, he just seems too loyal to that organization. He's a guy that wants to be a lifer and, and, and finish out his career with one team to hell with that. My, if that was me, my ass is leaving. I'm out. I want to go somewhere where I could contend and win a championship. I'm not going to spend my entire career, career, waste my entire, you know, career and put my body at risk for an organization that does not care to win as much as I do. That's not happening. I'm sorry, that is not happening. No way. I'm getting out of that contract. Once my contract expires, I'm testing the market. I'm going somewhere else where I know I have a chance to win. And that's what Mike Trout needs to do. But I think he's going to finish his career as an angel. And unfortunately, even though he has all these individual accolades and all these great achievements and everything, he's going to come up empty and not win a championship ring. Shohei Otani's going to have a chance to go somewhere else and win a championship ring. He's still young. He's still well in his prime. You know, and I wouldn't be surprised. I know this might sound crazy to some of you out there, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Angels actually trade Shohei Otani. But where do you trade him to? And there would be, a, that would be blockbuster. That would be absolutely blockbuster if the Angels do decide to move Shohei Otani. And I wouldn't be surprised if they do it. I wouldn't be. But Joe Madden, great guy, class act, a cerebral guy, you know, uh, has that championship pedigree, brings that experience, you know, a likable guy. He got a raw deal today. He got a raw deal And the Angels will soon find out that they made a mistake by firing a very, very good manager. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, tuning in. You guys are awesome. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.